Okay, just a quick video. Um, updating a Britus. This is Windows 10, which the operating system pretty well just sucks big time. And we opened up Quick Start. And then we go here to this icon. We click on it. And this will synchronize just remember you need to have your synchronization and you also need internet so now we're going to click yes and then hopefully just hopefully oh there we go okay so and for those of you who don't have tokens get some it's well worth it okay so this is the pass-through um, for those of you who don't use this as a pass-through don't download that because you'll get it confused so see how it says full setup okay so we've got our let's see where is it downloads and we've got our setup interface we've got it downloaded so what we're going to do, we're going to close that or we're going to close this. Yes. Now, just to be on the safe side, do this. Go down to the start button, right click it, go to file explorer and then go over here and go to downloads and then see this right here, the first one that you just downloaded, that's the one that we're going to be opening so minimize that and I actually have two of them so we've got this one now we're gonna minimize it not close it but minimize it so now we're gonna go down here to the search and we're gonna type add see what it says add remove programs we're gonna go up here we're gonna click on that we're going to open it up and then and then and we're going to go down here see how it says a British common software well I'm just not very common no okay the common software they re-up that back on 528 and if you go to the common files you'll see that it is the same one they have basically just updated the software for the interface so as long as you don't need new common files you can go ahead and just do the software interface software so here's your old one put this in on 1217 i'm going to uninstall it so we're going to let this go through and uninstall now just a heads up i i always find it funny that there isn't some great big warning on this if you don't uninstall your old software what will happen sometimes i'm not saying all the time but it has the chance to overwrite the software and leave part of the old software in there when they update and change software you want a fresh install of the software okay so now we can close this now if you look there's no longer an abritus icon now just so you know you better have your interface plugged into the usb i'm going to open up downloads now don't just go click the left mouse button right click it right click that and run as administrator if you do not run this as administrator and give it administrator rights after you're done installing you can run into problems this program has to basically take control of your laptop or computer that you have it on and if you don't give it that ability it just won't do it correctly so um i know it always kind of you go well, what's taking so long well 
you got to remember there's a lot of data that's being <sighs> installed and checked and all that good stuff so just so you know this takes a while so whenever make sure at least every 30 days you know go to the synchronize your interface with a Britus make sure that you have a um, AMS because if you don't have an AMS you ain't gonna be able to do jack diddly on mainly the European cars um, some of the American cars you need a little bit of internet you know just a little bit you can tell I'm just killing time until it gets to the okay I accept the agreement okay personal data notification so okay so it went through all of its stuff and when we click finish now we have an abritus icon so one thing i'll show you something so now remember how we installed it as administrator i'll show you if it ever starts one of the things that one of the weird things okay so now we go to the pro tag key thing or whatever you want to call it make sure you've got your pro tag hooked up if you click on this and it says can't unable to create process what is happening is all of these are actual programs and then this quick start is trying to start the program so what we do quit the application we go to the icon right click when we right click it go down to properties and now click on advanced see how it says run as administrator left click on run as administrator click ok and then go down and click on apply if you don't click on the apply it won't actually do it so now when we open up a Britus the quick start doesn't seem so quick to me and then we go to the second one now when we click on that it'll actually open up the program so I know it seems kind of weird we installed this as administrator you think it would have administrative rights but it doesn't because wonderful Windows 10 that's the way it works also another thing if you have if we go down here and we go to the good old Windows Defender do you notice how <laughs> mine has a bunch of yellow see how this right here okay firewall is on so a lot of times you have to allow an app to get through the firewall so what you do here if you go and if you notice I don't think a Britus is in here if you don't give this the ability to get through here you're gonna have some problems so you have to go in here and go down to the bottom click allow another app and then go through and I know it goes to that and okay this PC I always love the way you know I know I sound like I'm whining but it's not a Britus what it is is it's Microsoft wants to have so much control 
over your computer because they don't think you can do this. So now, tell you what I do. The commander for BMW. I will put each of these in there and then I will add those. And that way I know that all of my commanders for a Britis can get through the gateway or not the gateway but the firewall and get to the internet and access the Abritus server if you don't do this um, I don't know what it is but sometimes the port that Abritus wants to use it'll end up having issues and I mean think about it this stuff if you're in the US it has to go from the US over to Europe and then to Bulgaria to hit their server you're going a long ways over a lot of different networks and if you have some sort of a problem in your own firewall trust me it's gonna show up and you're not gonna either you won't be able to connect or you'll have problems connecting so just you know if you're smart go in there and add these and then I mean for me I go ahead and I put it public and private so that a British can access their server over in Bulgaria. Okay, so we've got all that done. Everything should should work. If it doesn't, yeah, bang your head against the wall. Let's reboot the computer, throw it out the window. You know, sometimes <laughs> just about nothing works. And then it's time to go get a cup of coffee and try it again. Good luck and bring on the next one. Okay, so now you've installed the Britas and you just want to find out, hey, do I have a license for that? Guess what? Go down here, click on start, and then go up to a Britas software for your ID. Click on the down arrow and then you move over here. And this is why I hate Windows 10 because they give you this stupid little thing and then you go down to license viewer click on license viewer and this brings it up and it tells you what you have so just so you know sometimes if you have a lot of licenses it'll bring up two pages depending on your um, screen resolution but if not, it just brings you up one and then you get to roll down through it. So that's how you know what licenses you have. Okay, so now you've installed, you figured out your license, so now's the time to buy more, right? <laughs> Bring on the next one.